Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Bugs, and pretty much you already see from the title where this video is going. Multiverses is dying, but it can still be revived. And pretty much, I'm gonna be going to like three major topics of multiverses. Pretty much why it's going down this way how did this happen and pretty much how it could still come back and let's just get straight into the video now the first thing first is if you didn't know multiverses was leaked by hungry box and i think that definitely did a toll to the company you know because you know it's not good to get your games leaked and stuff and it just messes up with marketing and all that stuff and if you don't know pfg is the owner and the creators and the devs for multiverses but wb i don't know the, the right term but pretty much they're the bigger bosses that has the final say of everything and they probably were the ones that was like, damn it, we had to do something, we had to show something, we had to show this game off now because it's been leaked. We, you know, we have to do something. But in reality, they could have just chilled back and let the game cook longer because, again, I don't think this game was supposed to come out that early. Um, even though it is an open beta, and I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but the game is still an open beta, so they have the right to be buggy, I guess. But, you know, obviously not to this extent, obviously. You don't want to play a game like this broken. But um definitely this game shouldn't have to come out until probably this year 1000 it, it probably should have came out around this time literally that open beta in honesty even um though because there's another point i'm going to bring up is the is mar the marketing um if you don't know multiverses was at evo and i think that was another reason why they had to rush the game out was for evo and that's why the game is so like vanilla and just undone where it's just like okay we have the characters okay they fight we have the maps it works cool let's market the game there and then get more people into it and then we'll keep adding content as we go along and it wasn't a bad idea um but like i said the game was undeveloped undercooked as you saw with the hurt boxes we complained about it they showed it what it was and then how they fixed it amazing job on the fix but goddamn, those hurt boxes were crazy back then but yeah i'm not gonna lie um, for the evil thing, I think they should have had the open beta as we're in stolen right now should have been for that one month um, of it and then like a week after evil and then shut it down and then go back to developing and finishing the game. I'm being so serious um, and just go back to close testing with like a certain amount of play testers and keep increasing the numbers probably get to the 10k 20k um, to keep improving the game and fixing it up and then you know within a couple months actually release it and not just actually release it to just how it is now but to asia and to all these other regions because you yeah, don't know there's a lot of regions that still don't have multiverses or has access to this game and it's just crazy how it you know it's been this long and don't get me wrong um if you also don't know pfg is an nd nd game this game is looked at as a triple a game because of who's behind it and what characters in the game guys this is an indie team with like 12 14 people and i promise you I swear to God, if you go to their page, there's like eight of them that are actually like GFX artists, and then the other like four to five are like coders. Like obviously the numbers probably got increased by a little bit by now, or I hope, <laughs> but they are a small team. They're, they're probably at 20 people max, 20 people max. And like I said, not a lot of them are even coders, at least from my knowledge. And that is another reason why some things are taking longer and harder to be done and develop. But yeah, that's pretty much the beginning of why the game already declined before it even, you know, had its popularity. Even though the game, you know, had a crazy and amazing start. And I think that's another thing they didn't expect was to have that many people ready to play their game. That they're just like, oh, it's just a fighting game, you know, we might get like 20, 30k people, and, you know, and then hopefully in the future we can keep growing it. No, that got smacked with 150k plus on PC. And guys, if you don't know, console was nearly always three times, maybe even four times bigger um, popularity than PC, so... Bro, they probably had like one point something, nearly two million people on that day. Literally that day, or that good month of multiverses, I kid you not. But that is going on to when the game actually released and why it kept on declining. One, and I think everyone knows it, servers. The servers were unplayable. And someone that came from the playtest, it hurt me because, I kid you not guys, in the playtest, even though, you know, it is a small group and that's why the servers are amazing. But the fact that when I was on the playtest, I wasn't even thinking about West Coast, East Coast, or any of that. It, it baffled me that when the game actually came out, I was just like, what the hell am I playing on? You know, like, the servers were, when I, guys, when I say they were golden, I could be playing with a West kid and couldn't even tell. I literally couldn't even tell compared to when the game actually released. I'm playing someone that is literally five minutes away from me and we're, and we're staticking, we're, 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 we're jumping, we're jittering. It's like, what the hell happened? right um another thing obviously were bugs a lot of the characters you know they're amazing and stuff the cool kit and all that stuff but yet 
they don't work properly and then projectiles and all that stuff didn't make sense and this beat that but that didn't beat this and that there was a lot of bugs those are, those are the two main factors i feel like that kind of hit everyone in the face people said content people said characters i don't think that's the reason like, it, even, even though you know the servers and all that stuff is more for the i guess competitive people i think it's bs if i can't play the game properly at a casual because all these bugs or i punch somebody and i just randomly explode and die that's going to turn me away too so literally server and bugs were the two major things in my opinion about it screw the hitboxes screw the hurtboxes screw the characters the game modes all that stuff no it was literally server and bugs off rip and they took a long time to get fixed and they're still getting fixed so they're not even completely done so that was the two main thing but following on to the other little trickly things was content you know um I don't usually talk about leaks on my channels and I don't like doing it because, you know, I just think it ruins the surprise and stuff. But pretty much before the game was out, there was a lot of stuff leaked like that should be coming even not even character wise, but like gameplay wise, game feature wise, whole bunch of stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I do look at leaks. I, again, I just don't talk about it. And me being a playtester, seeing the vanilla vanilla of the game, I'm like, OK, cool. And then seeing all this that's supposed to be in the game, I'm just like. I'm just like, oh my god, this this game is gonna be amazing. This game is gonna be peak. And then when the game, you know, dropped in open beta, I was like, what the hell is this feature? What the hell is this feature? What the hell is this feature? Wait, this feature's not done yet. I'm like, what the hell? You know? And I think that's another thing that I'm um, kind of like dwell down the hype for a lot of people because again people look at leaks people want to see stuff early that, that's being developed you know because it, there's a big thing in the fortnite community that does it a big thing that the valorant community does it so you know it's going to happen in this community and you know seeing probably all that information all that stuff that's supposed to be in the game and then you get this 2v2 1v1 free for all play it's like what the hell happened and then again it's been months on months on months and it's still not out so it's just like damn um it's still not ready so I think that was another, you know, obviously factor in it. Again, not compared to the servers and bugs that we still have to this day. But yeah, then the content started kind of not reaching the standards um, as expected because I ain't gonna lie, they went crazy um, for the first two to three months um, or six months. Yeah, probably six months. Whereas well, there was like a character every two weeks, every three weeks, you know, and you know, a lot of people was already bashing the game for the low rosters. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, bro, this is a brand new game. You're you're comparing it to Smash and Brawlhalla. Like, they didn't start off with, like, nearly, like, five, six characters themselves. 14 off rip was a good start. People, I don't know. I think it just it ignored, it annoyed me because it's like, bro, 14 at the beginning roster isn't bad. And they're going to keep adding more. I think they added characters a little bit too fast. I personally think they should have just did a character um by by the month you know because obviously you know the, all these characters that they dropped was definitely already in development just wasn't out in the game and they were just polishing it even more before they released it and i think they rushed it a little bit too much too fast and i think they only did that because of the community wanting more content wanting more stuff and now we're kind of in that and now we're kind of in this gray area where we're not getting anything and i think because they're trying to catch up you know for the season three as you know it got pushed back and stuff and yeah um content kind of just got demolished because again they are a small indie team and they were kind of just forced to throw this out throw this out just to you know keep content going and i think they should have definitely scheduled it and spaced it out a little bit better um especially the characters i would love to see more maps and all that stuff but yeah and then also the game modes again you gotta have that com um that casual side um love and to feed into them and there was nothing you know um and i didn't think that's why fighting games never get big just in my opinion like obviously they get they're, they're big but you know compared to other games like shooters and mmos and stuff you don't get that big because there's not that much you can do and multiverses and brahala are games that kind of break that doorways because it's 2v2 and you can you know play with someone and i think that kind of drives people to play more fighting games but the whole 1v1 factor kind of just in my opinion gets boring and i think that's the reason why uh, fighting games don't go big is because you know and i'm, I'm going off topic but anyways <laughs> pretty much um the casual side there wasn't nothing to do besides fighting yeah they had city mode but that wasn't nothing too crazy um again they needed those fun side game modes shoot a storyline guild something boss ba something they they need something to flourish the, the the casual side for them to do something right now it is literally just fight 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 mmr that is it you know they need those fun game modes bro we have lebron and we have space jam i'm not gonna lie 
get some two get like two devs put them on that work make the make a basketball game mode bro i'll i'll be having a blast in that i'm not gonna lie i'll be playing the basketball game mode for a good chunk of my time on on multiverses but yeah they had to actually have more fun stuff to do for casuals and stuff and like i said um i would love to see a storyline mode you know if pg is even watching this uh, I think that's just a big thing, and like I said, I don't expect it to be free. People might expect it to be free. I think it should be like a twenty dollar, fifteen dollar type of pass thing, and then obviously there's content in it, costumes that are only in the storyline, and I think that would be pretty dope and a fun thing to do. Um, but yeah, and then obviously there's a whole bunch of other the undeveloped stuff like the lab and all this stuff and blah 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 blah. Obviously, you know that's just gonna get better over time because this video is getting too long, and I just want to end to why I still believe this game can um, revive itself number one is literally just servers and bugs a lot of people love this game but the main reason why they stop playing it or don't enjoy it is because of server and bugs so whenever and all honestly bugs are gonna happen so let's just say servers honestly when the servers are manageable and actually playable i could see a good probably five to ten percent increase right there right number two the esports scene if you don't know pfg stopped doing the esports scenes the last thing they did was fall showdown and i think they heard the players that were playing in it including myself about this is not fun and the reason why it's not fun is because why the servers the servers are not fun so i honestly think they um have money on the side prepared for the whole esports thing because another thing i'm going to say it's not it's not private information because i was at evo and, and i talked to tony about it but pretty much they have money on the side for their esports scene um in the future um they're just waiting for the game to you know be out of beta most likely and again they heard us crying about the, the servers and they saw the two bar one bar it's not fun obviously for the for the um, audience they don't care as long as someone win you know it's hype ah, ah, ah. but for the players that are actually competing it hurts it, it honestly hurts losing because of this and that that's out of your control and that's another big increase right there but probably another 10 to 15 percent because people love competitions and stuff bam right there number three is the content guys there's so many content that i think this team wants to add that haven't been done yet um because again i think i could talk about this because again uh they allow us to talk about all the playtest stuff um now um was when they were in the playtest and they're asking us for game modes they were actually asking us for like some like in-depth game modes not not no not even trying to bash for or smash but you know the volleyball the dodgeball no they want like in-depth game modes and stuff that they want in the future um content wise for multiverses so if they could definitely do that in this game that it will be super hype um next i think guilds are going to be very hype i think i think they're not going to go on a basic version of guilds and i think that's why it hasn't been um out yet and i'm talking about like probably like do, uh, oh yeah this is another thing they actually asked us about what would they love us to see about guild battles which was like guild bosses like you know you get a group of y'all and you fight a boss and another thing will be guild battles like you can actually face other guilds you take your top players and fight and i'm being so serious like this is the stuff um that was talked into the play test like discords and stuff i'm pretty sure i could talk about it if not <laughs> then this video might get taken down <laughs> but yeah stuff like that it just content wise is really going to drive this game back up and stuff and then finally when the game is out of open beta guys i promise you the marketing on this game is going to go through the roof with wb and tfg and all that stuff and yeah and then another thing a big increase of player base would be asia and all these other regions again that don't have the game and then those numbers are gonna look good and people gonna be like what people are playing this game again let me go check it out and by the time they check it out the game will be out of beta the server's gonna be better hopefully 95 90 percent of bugs are you know fixed and stuff there's gonna be way more content there's gonna be so many more and new characters people are like wait this character's in the game and then you also gotta remember this game is known but this game is like not known on a big scale like like for example like i feel like everyone knows about split gate because it had like two lifetimes of like coming then dying and then rebursting and then so many people came back to where servers were nearly untouchable you could even like get like there was long queues for it and then died again i feel like multiverses were known in the gaming community but not outside of it like if you walk around and say multiverses be like what the fuck are you talking about dr strange multi the multiverse when they really market this game and when people really know about it, I think we can see a massive and crazy increase once again. And the final thing I do want to say for the people that still play this game and do enjoy it, or for the people that do love this game but aren't playing it because of all these issues, there are two things you can do. Um, one, just be quiet and, you know, wait for the game to blossom and stuff. And then when it is ready, then you could talk about it and, you know, market it or however you want and promote it to your friends. Or two... Try to stay positive, even if you're being negative like myself, you know, because uh, I know a lot of people might call me a hypocrite saying that I talk trash, but then I show love. I talk trash and I show love, but at least I'm being honest with it. You know, at least I'm being like, wow, this part of it, fuck this game. And then the next part of it is like, damn, this is why I love this game versus 
I play this game 24-7, but yet all I do is talk bad about it. And those players, I don't get y'all. Do you want the game to grow or do you want the game to die? And if you want the game to die, why do you still play the game? You know, don't get me the air wrong. The game frustrates me 100%. And I'll have my moments where I'll post like, damn, fix this. But then I have my moments like, damn, I do love this game. Why? Because I do love this game. Does it have its issues? 100%. But don't bash a game that you want a game to blossom. If you want this game to die, go, okay, I get that. You know, there's going to be haters. But why trash and bash the game but still play the game? At least, at least have a balance, you know? At least have a balance of like, fuck this game, but have your clips where you're like, oh, this was dope, da-da-da, and show the game off, you know? But that's just my two cents. Also, let me say this before I forget, but pretty much the player base right now doesn't matter. And I don't mean like your opinions and your um, feedback to the game doesn't matter. I just mean like the player base as in the numbers right now doesn't matter because the game is in open beta and has its issues. When the numbers and all that stuff will matter is when the game is out of open beta, when they actually start marketing the game. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that and they don't believe it, but it's the honest truth because, again, when the servers and bugs are fixed, when more characters are out, and when they actually market it out to the bigger audience, to creators and all that stuff, people will come back and it's just going to be a slap into your face when y'all realize that. But yeah. And, you know, hopefully this video changes some thoughts on people of the future of multiverses. Leave a like if you like the video, comment about anything, you know, comment about how y'all feel about multiverses and y'all thoughts on it, because I love, you know, talking back to y'all and stuff. And if it's your first time ever watching my videos and you do enjoy it, hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Move to LA, cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find balance.